Hey guys, I'm actually here with my cat because I'm going to be filming how to make a cat collar. Well, it can be for your cats and dogs, but remember safety first. If your parents don't want it on your animal, then don't do it. But yeah. Let them see your face. Yeah, she just looks at you, she's like, ugh. Alright. So we'll be right back on my desk to film the video. Okay guys, so I'm back at my desk and if you hear weird background noises, my cat is looking at a seagull and making weird noises. So to make this, you'll need a loom. It can be any loom as long as it's in a staggered configuration. You're going to need a hook and some bands. I'm using these purple Rubber bands from Rainbow Loom. There's six on bands, they just look blah 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 blah. Basically the same as the yellow bands I reviewed, but they're kind of the translucent. I haven't made a colour uh, with my cat before, but it broke. Well, it was kind of my fault because it broke, because that was taking it off the fur and it broke. So I'm just going to move these to the side. Okay. So, now let's get started. So you're basically just going to make a triple single. If I just look like that, that's better. So you're basically just going to take make a sing triple, bleh, triple single. Take a single rubber band. Take it from the... Make sure the arrow is pointing away from you. I've actually got my loom to the side of me. So, yeah. I'm going to take a single rubber band. And you're going to lay it from... The pin that's outwards, when, well, like that, take it from this pin directly forward. Then you're going to take it from that pin again to the left. Then you're going to do the same again, but to the right. Now you're going to do, now we're going to go to the centre, and we're going to do, let me just move that rubber bands going upwards until we get to this peg here. So I'll be right back when that's done. So I've just done that. So now what you want to do is from these two side pegs, you know, like this peg going to the left, you want to take a single rubber band from the peg that you left off and pull it going forward. You want to do that all the way up this side until you get to this peg here. And the same with the right side until you get to this peg. Until you get to this peg here. So I'll be right back when that's done. So now I've done that, what you want to do is you want to go from the left peg into the centre, into this centre peg here. You want to do the same from this, from the right peg here to the centre peg. Now we're going to make our extension onto it, which will allow the cat to, you know, have, to be able to breathe. So I'm just going to move my loom out of the way. And yes, let's get started on that. So instead of um, showing you how to do it on my hook, I'm going to show you how to do it on a loom. I just went and grabbed my second loom. There's my loom that I'm doing for. But here's my second loom. So you want to figure out how much space your how much more space your cat needs. So I say around nine should do. Well, it depends on how fat your cat is. So you're just gonna do a, a zigzag narration. So that's three, four, five. Oh, sorry, six. Seven, eight, and nine. So as you can see, it's not that much, but when yeah. but you make sure when you put the collar on, you have you can fit two fingers in it without stretching it. So you're gonna put a cap band on at the end. Sorry, it keeps flying off. Alright, 
right, so once you've done your cat band, you want to go through it, grab the bottom band and loop it over. You should know how to do them. And you're, you're just going to do it. Sorry, the bands keep popping off. If you already know how to do this, then just fast forward it. But if you do not that know, which you probably should before you make this, then just watch. It's only going to take a few seconds. So once you've loomed it all, you're going to take these rubber bands that you've lastly looped, and you're going to put them on your hook, and you're going to use it to pull the rest of the bands off. Right, so we're done with that get this one down. You want to stretch your extra piece out. My piece is, I'm just still stretching it. And then you want to go to the end of where you left off of your triple single. And you're going to put these bands over the top. Like so. Now we're going to make sure this collar stays together. So what you're going to do is you're going to put triangles like this on all pegs. So it's not like all stringy. Like so. Now you're going to do this completely up your loom. Just to show you that. Okay, so I'll be right back when I've done this. So once you've done laying out all your bands, we're ready to start looming. So I prefer to get this piece... So with, I prefer to pull this piece out and just get it out of the way. But you're going to put to your hook through those bands that we put on the end and grab the top band that you see. This one should be going to the right. You're going to pull it to the right. Then you're going to go through again and grab the next band. Ooh, you can't see that. Which should be leading to the left. You're going to go through again and grab the centre band. And if it falls off, just go through those bands. Grab it on your hook. Pull it over. And that one should be going forward, of course. Then you want to go to the right pin. And you want to grab the very bottom... You want to go through all the other bands. You want to grab the very bottom band and pull it to the peg in front. Then you're going to do the same again. You're going to go through all the bands. You're going to grab the very bottom band. And you're going to... Be pulling it forward. <laughs> and you're just going to do this all the way up your loom. So I'll be right back once I've done it. So I went ahead and do all of them, but they're basically the same thing. So I am actually going to attach a chain to mine at the end. But what you're going to do is you're going to put your hook through the end. You're going to put your hook through the end bands make sure you've got all of them because this is holding them all together and you want to remove it off your loom just pulling it off okay. oh my. so now you have that you can also make extra pieces which I think I will but I'm just going to make my another extra piece and I will be right back so bye so now I've put my extra piece on, what you're going to do is you're going to attach your ends together with a clip. So you're going to take your clip and put, well your ends have to be on your hook and you want to attach your ends one by one. So that one's attached and I'm going to attach the other ones by just slipping it through and then just clipping it on. And the reason why I just I had a pen. I don't know if you can see it, but it's because I was just using it to hold it. 
So that's your collar. Now I'm just going to go put up my cat and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's my cat. She is modelling this collar. Yep, she is sniffing the camera. Okay, just walk away then. No, Nobody wants to see that. Okay, there you go. So that's what the collar looks like. And if you can't fit two fingers in it without it stretching, then she won't be able to breathe. So yeah, you want to do that. So Petal says bye and bye guys.